On March 31st, 2006, on a beautiful spring day, seven-year-old Tajanique Lee rode her bike into gang crossfire and at random was shot in the face. Miraculously, she lived and she's a beautiful young lady. But just two months ago, tragedy struck 13-year-old Tamara Leonard, an innocent child caught in a spray of bullets and killed her. These are the human faces in a human toll of gun violence. It seems that every day we wake up to more gun violence. We wake up to a child who's been shot. We wake up to a policeman who has been killed, such as happened recently in Jersey City. Or we wake up to someone beating someone with a gun. I think it's critically important that at some point they have to recognize that this is a safety issue. In Pennsylvania, you see the, the Amish, what happened with, with, with the, the Amish being killed. And just the other day, a uh, person that hates women with a legal gun, but still the, the, the violence, and, and he killed three people and wounded others. There's just far too many guns that are being used. Yeah, the one uh, handgun a month uh, bill, I think, will do a lot to, uh, to curb some of the violence in uh, New Jersey. I know a lot of guns come from out of the state with uh, illegal trafficking. But this is going to slow it down considerably, I believe, in, in the state. Uh, before this, uh, people were able to go in, straw purchasers, as they call them, were able to go in and just buy, you know, 5, 10, 15 guns at a time and just turn around and put them to the uh, criminals on the street. But just buying one at a time, I think this is going to slow down the flow quite a bit. Another positive step in preventing gun violence in our state providing for gun safety and protection of our citizens. No role in government is more important than to protect the lives of our citizens in the communities they live. Nothing is more important than protecting these young people that stand behind us. 28% of the guns, just shy of 30% of the guns that get traced back in crime events are purchased in New Jersey. And many of those were bought in bulk purchases. And it should be stopped. We now have a ban on any more than one gun a month. I'm just very proud of uh, the governor for taking this step and, and Senator Cunningham and Assemblywoman Quigley because I know how tough it is to fight a very powerful gun lobby. Uh, we've always been a fan of the governor. Uh, he's always been on our side with uh, gun violence prevention, whether he was in the Senate or, you know, certainly now as a governor, and we're just thankful that he helped uh, push this through the uh, assembly. In the I just want to say thank you, not only to Governor Corzine, but I noticed from the others who started um, getting this bill implemented for the state of New Jersey. And just say, you know, I'm just glad that you kept your pulse on the bill because it's going to be so important to not only the city of Trenton, but New Jersey. That way we won't have um, victims or family of victims. And it will see some of those um, gun use here in New Jersey.